Hello friends, are you feeling bored sitting at home? Come on, let's have some fun. Wherever you are, stand up on your feet and dance with us. Say my hands and the hands of God, they cannot be paralyzed. Say my eyes, they are the eyes of God, they cannot be blind. Say my whole body is the temple of God, it cannot go down, it cannot go down, it cannot go down. My hands are blessed. My legs are blessed, my head is blessed, everything is blessed, my hands are blessed, my legs are blessed, my head is blessed, everything is blessed, tell me say, my hands are blessed.
on, it's prayer time. Let's pray together and talk to God. Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to Christ from Missy in the Children Church. And today's prayer point is, we are praying for all sick people, people who are in hospitals. Pray that gospel is reaching to them and they are being healed. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. So lift up your hands, close your eyes and pray with me. Zikir <laughs> Thank you for praying with us. God bless you. Bye bye. Hello, friends. How are you all? Today we are going to learn a beautiful language which is sign language. Did you know there are so many benefits of learning sign language? Sign language gives your brain a good workout which means you can focus on your studies and things better. It improves your peripheral vision and reaction time. You can communicate with babies too. It improves your communication skills. It helps you become a better listener and improves your body language skills. Wow! So come on, let's learn sign language. And our parents can also join us in this. Today we are going to learn song in sign language. Hooray! So come on, let's begin. You are so gracious. Mm-hmm. Dear
Time for Rhapsody of Realities for Kids. We are going to learn so many amazing things. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. 
Welcome friends. It's time for Rhapsody. It's Rhapsody time. Reality time. Today's date is 5 Sunday. Chase the enemy out. Mark chapter 16 verses 17 says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new terms. Hallelujah! The Lord Jesus gave us authority over devils and evil spirit. Not to have conversation and negotiation with him, with them. No, rather to chase them out. It's the same way you tell your dog to run if it's bothering you. Simply give the command and you will send them running. Refuse to let the enemy cause trouble around your home, school or country. Rather take charge. For the Lord has given unto you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah! Luke chapter 10 verses 19 Today's scripture reading is Matthew chapter 10 verses 8 Lift up your hands and close your eyes and say after me, I take my place of authority today and command every activity of the enemy to stop and righteousness to reign in my family, school and country. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Bye bye friends! God bless you! It's time to have some more fun. Come on, stand up and dance with us. Let's enjoy. The love of Jesus, sweet and marvelous. The love of Jesus, sweet and marvelous. The love of Jesus, sweet and marvelous. Oh, oh, wonderful love, higher than the sky, deeper than the ocean, wider than the universe, oh, oh, wonderful Say, I'm blessed, I'm excellent, and wherever you are with your friends, your family, your teacher, whoever is around you, just give them a high five and say, Welcome, glory, hallelujah. And this is our year of the prolific church. Praise the Lord. Thank you. This is my year of the prolific church glory hallelujah and today's topic is learn to say i am sorry hallelujah yes it is important when we say thank you we should also learn to say i am sorry when we do you know some kind of mistake it can be unintentional but we should learn to say sorry let's read a story from the bible and understand why it is important to say sorry hallelujah and what it does praise the lord let's read from luke chapter 19 from verse 1 to 
then if you have your bibles go get them and let's read it hallelujah and it says jesus entered jericho and was passing through a man was there by the name of zacchaeus he was a chief tax collector and was wealthy he wanted to see who jesus was but because he was short he could not see over the crowd so he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since jesus was coming that way when jesus reached that spot he looked up and said to him zacchaeus come down immediately i must stay at your house today so he came down at once and welcomed him gladly all the people saw this and began to mutter he has gone to be the guest of a sinner it zacchaeus stood up and said to the lord look lord here and now i give half of my possession to the poor and if i have cheated anybody out of anything i will pay back four times the amount jesus said to him today salvation has come jesus said to him today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of abraham for the son of man came to seek and to save the lost praise the lord hallelujah here we read the story of zacchaeus who was the chief of tax collector he was very wealthy but he was not a honest man everybody knew he was a sinner hallelujah one day when he heard lord jesus is coming mm-hmm. he wanted to see lord jesus but he was short a bit short in height so he was not able to see jesus over the crowd so you know what he did he ran and he climbed a tree and waited there because he knew jesus was going to pass from that way and when jesus came to that tree jesus looked up and said zacchaeus come down today i'm coming to your place zacchaeus was glad surprised he was happy hallelujah he was a sinner according to the people he was not a good man he must not be having a lot of friends hallelujah when he heard jesus is coming he was excited and he was happy but when people heard you know they started saying oh jesus is going to the house of a sinner hallelujah you know but what happened when zacchaeus met lord jesus his whole life was transformed he was a changed man hallelujah his life was full of love the things to be sorry for cheating others he realized he had done wrong to others hallelujah and you know what he did he told jesus i give half of my possession to the poor and whoever i have cheated i will give them four times more hallelujah glory glory hallelujah he was full of love when he met jesus when you are full of love it will not be difficult for you to say sorry the prince was sorry for what he did and he understood that what corrections he has to make and go ahead and to be decision hallelujah for whatever wrong he had done he was ready to give half of his possession to the poor he was ready to give four times more to the people who he had cheated hallelujah isn't it amazing who said if you feel of love it will not be difficult for you to say i am sorry when you have done something wrong it can be unintentional or maybe by mistake but always remember it is important to say i am sorry who do you now to apologize when you do something wrong it can be at your home your school anywhere you know in james chapter 2 verse 6 the word says 
but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it is important. When you are not able to say sorry, it shows that you are proud. And God resists the proud. Hallelujah. And God gives grace to the people who are humble. Glory. Hallelujah. So make it a point that whenever something wrong happens, it can be unintentional or by mistake. Say sorry. Hallelujah. Never be proud, you know. It was by mistake. I did not did it intentionally. Why should I say sorry? No, no, no. A big no. Hallelujah. You know, just like Zacchaeus, when he met Jesus, he realized all his mistakes. He felt sorry and he corrected them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is how a child of God is supposed to be full of love. And when you're full of love, it will never be difficult for you to say, I am sorry. So from this moment, make it a point that whenever something goes wrong or something you have done wrong, always say, to make it a point, if you have done something wrong, immediately say, I am sorry and Share this message with your friends. Let them know how important it is to say, I am sorry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. I would encourage all of you to share the message with your friends. Share the program link with your friends. Watch this program again with your friends. And as I said, start saying sorry when you have done something wrong. Don't hesitate. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're a child of God. You're full of love. Hallelujah. Let the world see. Hallelujah. The love that God has shed abroad in our heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we'll see you next Sunday. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you. Wow! We learned so many beautiful things today. And now it's time for Confession. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome friends. It's time for Confession. Lift up your hands and close your eyes. And say after me. I affirm that I have a sound mind. I walk in wisdom. My words are wide and productive. I lift others up with my words. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bye bye friends. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're watching our program for the first time and you have not received Jesus as your Lord, your friend. So here is the opportunity where you can say this prayer with us and you can receive Jesus as your Lord, your Savior and your friend. Glory. Hallelujah. So, you just have to say this prayer with us. Wherever you are, you can rise up on your feet, lift up your hands towards heaven, close your eyes and believe and say this prayer with me. Hallelujah. Dear Father, I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe that He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. He is alive today. I receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. In Him and through His name, I have eternal life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Now I am born again. And from this day, I am a child of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. I pray for each and every one who have received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father. I say, Satan has no power over their life. Jesus is their Lord and Savior. They're divinely protected. They walk in health. I bless them with your word, with your grace, with your blessing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and congratulations and welcome to God's mighty family. Praise the Lord. This is the time where we will give our offerings. If you're watching us from your home, the bank details are on the screen. You can speak to your parents and you can give your offering through bank transfer. If you're watching us from a center, give your offering in the center itself. Praise the Lord. Let's pray for the offering. Thank you, Father, for giving us the grace and the opportunity to bring our offerings. We say this offering is sanctified by your spirit, O Lord. Thank you. As we have given, we receive a multiplied harvest in the name of Jesus. We shall not lack any good things in our life. Thank you, Father. We invoke your blessings upon them. And we say they are multiplied for the furtherance of the gospel. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the time in case you are not well, you are sick, we'll pray for you. And remember, it is God's desire and God has given us divine health. He wants all of us to be healthy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So wherever you are facing any kind of health issue, just lay one of your hands over there. Lift up the other hand and let's pray together. Le prama shaki alakhanta ebakaya daboski pahita alhante o raba kia balasaki malando sonta malike ba o te daba e braboska lagabanda yadabonga tia labo sati gabanta yabo. Thank you, Father. I pray for each and every one. I command every sickness, every infirmity, every pain to live in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, O oh Lord, every part of the body is functioning properly in the name of Jesus. The bones are being strengthened. As we are praying, O oh Lord, your power is at work, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Each one of them is healed. Each one of them. Each one of them. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have prayed this prayer with us, we know that you have received your healing. Our details are on the screen. Do call or message us and let us know what God has done for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you all had a great time praying, worshipping the Lord. And there's so much that we learned today. As I told you today, go ahead and tell everyone how much God loves them. Praise the Lord. Right now, let's thank God wherever you are. You can rise up on your feet, lift up your hands towards heaven, close your eyes and let's thank God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I pray for each and every one, O oh Lord. Thank you. The spirit of understanding, the spirit of excellence is at work in them, O oh Lord. They are champions. They are wise, O oh Lord. They are preaching the gospel like never before. Thank you, Lord. They are blessed and are a blessing, O oh Lord. All things are working together for their good. They are divinely protected. They walk in health, O oh Lord. There is peace. There is peace in their home, O oh Lord. Libra bo scala bati kara la bon tayara le. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace, the love of God, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of my life as I dwell in the house of God, now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So make sure that you're joining us the coming Sunday. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you. Wow, I know you had so much of fun today to enjoy 
Make sure you watch this with your friends again. Bye bye. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share. Thank you and God bless you.